evening. Welcome to Pico's Pit Walk after dark. Literally, they've turned the lights off. Like, it's even worse down there. Thankfully, um, these, these lot are still here, so we've got a little bit of light. Um, this is going to be a speed run because it's quarter past nine in the evening. That race went on forever. Um, Rome was the, uh, the longest Formula E race of all time. This was even longer. It was longer by like five minutes or so, but still longer. Went on forever. Right, shall we have a little chat about each team uh, and how they did today? And we're going to start with App Cooper, and it's a double DNF for them today. It's not a great note to start on, but um, yeah, so double DNF for App Cooper. Uh, Frines was involved in that accident down at turn 19 with the Grassi and Sete Camera. Uh, we're not really sure what happened on Tonico Muller, but yeah, um, disappointing day for them, especially after the weekend that they had in Rome. Uh, we kind of wanted a little bit more, which is a shame. Right, we'll move on to DS Penske where we will chat about Stoffel Van Dorn because there was an incident. Like, if you think way back to like one of the early laps. Um, Stoff outbraked himself down at turn one uh, whilst overtaking one of the Nissans and went into uh, Eduardo Mortara, of which there was no penalty because neither car was at fault. Apparently. I don't understand it either, but yeah. Um, yeah, and despite all the shenanigans that happened today, this team called, uh, scored zero points. Whenever there's these kind of shenanigans, they always seem to survive. They survived the one in Rome, and then they scored no points there as well. So, even when stuff like that happens, it, um, yeah, nothing really comes of it, which is, uh, which is a shame for them. They're 17 points ahead of Maserati now, so, um, yeah. Uh, Vern was last seen uh, holding, uh, drinking a coffee and not doing much for well over an hour. Um, Sergio's got his helmet on. You're right. Is is everything all good with a technical infraction? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna scream into his ear. Was everything all good after the technical infraction? Um, have you heard anything back from that or not yet? I haven't stopped a minute after that. I don't know no, no. Doing. Okay, okay. That's all I wanted to check. That's all I wanted to check, mate. All right, cheers. Um, yeah, because there was a technical fraction for Sergio set a camera, um, of which we don't really know. What's happened there? That's the second year in a row that I've um, doorstepped uh, says a camera <laughs> whilst doing this. So this time, no DHL truck to hit me. Um, but yes, uh, he had a crazy, crazy race um, that meant that he went from... He started at the back, was involved in that incident with um, Robin Frines and Lucas Degrassi, had Sasha Fenestras go over the top of him, and then come fifth, along with a technical infraction. Uh, so, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> bit of a crazy day for them. But it, it's a great day for Neo as well, because Dan Tickton finished P8. Um, yeah, uh, Tickton just fell through the field. He qualified P4, which was fantastic. Um, but, uh, yeah, fell through the field. He said, can't hold position at all. Um, just the efficiency of the car. Uh, just meant that, that uh, that's what happened to him uh, today. Uh, 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 if you look, if you watch the interview with Seti Camera, he said something about um, how the the cars and how they currently race. It, something needs to change, whether it's the car or whether it's the track. Yeah, um, who knows? Uh, Nissan um, Normanato uh, finished um, fourth but then had a five second penalty for that instant down at turn 19 that caused second red flag Sasha Fenestras oh, would you look at this wow uh, he obviously like went into um, went over the back of Sergio and then this is this is the remains oh dear uh, I'm assuming it will be a new tub for um uh, and yes, it will be. <laughs> That's what they're working on in the background. It, it'd be better if I looked with my eyes to see what was happening. But yeah, the damage tub for um, uh, Sasha Fenestras, who had an almighty accident. That was really, really horrible. And thankfully, he is okay. Uh, Nato finished fourth, dropped to P9 after the penalty for the instant of final corner. Um, 
and he doesn't understand why he got the penalty. Um, right, uh, Mahindra and some more solid points. It's just unfortunate that their nearest rivals, Neo, uh, scored even more points than them by having a double points finish. Lucas finished seventh, uh, whereas Neo had a fifth and an eighth. So um, that might be 10th place for them in the championship. And I don't think, as I said yesterday, I don't think that they've, ever, they've ever finished that low if I can get my words out. But yeah, uh, disappointing from them. And um, if you look to the, um, the LED boards, um, spoiler if you haven't seen the result, and if you haven't seen the result, why are you watching this? Um, yeah, well done Jake, we'll get on to him a little bit later on. Um, because we need to like extend this like little walk, because um, there, there is this gap for the podium uh, before we get to Porsche. And three minutes penalty. That's ridiculous. You just give him a drive through and that'll slap him down to last place. Three minute penalty for that. And rightly, De Costa was fuming. Um, not because of the three minutes though. He didn't care about what the penalty was or whether it would reinstate his podium. The reason why he got that is because his tyre was like underflated. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to stand over here in the light so I can hear myself think because uh, they are playing uh, the bangers. Um, but yeah, so it was slow puncture. He cut his tyre on some debris and then that started just like leaking air pressure. So the PSI was lower than it's legally supposed to be. And that's what disqualified him from the race. It's, it's, it's not cheating, it's just what happened. But if you if you haven't seen it already, go watch the interview because, oh my word, it's four minutes of pure drama. You've got to love it. Uh, Pascal, he was also on for a good result today. Uh, then he had that incident with uh, Rani Ras down at turn one. Uh, Ras kind of clipped the curb and went uh, airborne. And at that point, yeah, just went into... Just went into... Uh, their line and uh, it ruined both their races unfortunately um, but Porsche have appealed that to Costa thing because they need it to get themselves potentially that win in the constructors that at the moment it wouldn't be enough however all hail King Jake I think that's a Brooklyn 99 reference um yeah Congratulations, Jake Dennis, the 2023 Formula E World Champion. Um, <laughs> that was a little bit hectic, that race for him. All he had to do was stay out of trouble. There was a point where he was like, just being like, like pushed so far down by everyone. And then the battles that he had with the Envisions was insane. Uh, the, four, um, the four Porsche power cars, so the two Porsche, the two Andrettis, they had a plan to work together. Uh, and that was um, that wasn't a, that, that didn't work out did it um, but yeah uh, all hail the um, sorry uh, we all live in a red and white machine a red and white machine a red and white machine um, good I just wanted to sing that um, yeah very clever uh, but yeah well, he wasn't appreciative of the lack of support from is um, from the factory Porsche team. Um, yeah, uh, Lotterer didn't really do much. Um, sorry, Andre. Uh, it's, it's his last day tomorrow anyways. Uh, Envision. Now, I can't say the words that um, I've um, put in here, but I've just written WTF. There we go. That's more or less what you need to know. Uh, Megastrat from the team on the first lap to box in Jay Dennis and make sure that Casti got his two attack modes out of the way so that he could just go on. However, Casti wanted to repay the favour to Sebastian. Um, and so let Seb through, which then accidentally let Mitch through and then all hell broke loose. Uh, and then when they were running tandem in, was it second and third or third and fourth? Um, Buemi wasn't giving up the position to um, Nick, which as we all now know, cost him the championship and the thing is like Nick's a man of few words anyways but he just seemed so broken in the in the um, in the driver pen earlier um, he just wasn't wasn't wanting to be there which was a shame um, 
yeah, and I do real. For, I do feel really bad for him, and the t and the team. Before before the race, I was sitting on here going, you know what? Envision have got a one-two, and they've wrapped up the um, they've wrapped up the team championship. It's probably going to these guys now because um, they are not too far behind. Um, they've closed so much today. A win for Mitch Evans, fantastic result for um, for um, uh, Mitch. One four. Um, Mitch took his chance today um, with um, the two envisions messing about. Um, and was a little bit worried about the late attack mode. I think that was the same with Seb Buemi. Seb had six minutes to take, so whereas Mitch only had two. So was that the reason why Seb was backing everyone up? I did actually put Seb the um, Buemi the assassin uh, in here as well. But yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it's what it felt like today. Uh, Birdie got um, P4, which is good. Um, it's, it's a home race for him as well, which, um, yeah. So they're right in it now. I think there's, the gap's only something like two points or something like that. Um, Maserati. Um, and yeah, un annoyingly, uh, Edo wasn't in the, um, in the press pen. And so I really want to speak to him about what he thought of the incident with Stoff down at turn one and the fact that it was no penalty uh, which seems ludicrous to me but yeah uh, Gunther got a five second penalty for something <laughs> I haven't put it in my notes but yeah that uh, that dropped him out the points um, but yeah P6 for Edo so they've closed in a little bit more on DS Penske and then we come to McLaren. Uh, Rast was in the running for the podium today. You can see him in the garage there. Um, and he got that five. He got a five-second penalty for the accident with Pascal Wehrlein down at T1, where he went airborne a little bit. Um, thought podium was on the chance, caught out by the red. Hughes just missed out on points. Um, there's another thing that I wanted to put, uh, wanted to say yesterday, but my voice didn't want. My voice gave up. I can tell that it's starting to go again, but still. Um, the, in Shakedown, they tested uh, these new Gen 3 steering wheels. Uh, they only tested it in Shakedown. They were supposed to come in at the start of the year. It didn't, and so they should be coming in Season 11. So new steering wheels for next year. That's something to look forward to. Um, right, we've reached the end of the pit lane. Uh, I need a wee, so I'd say thank you very much for today. No FEZ show today because it is half nine. I need, a, I need a bevy down me. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.